Good evening to everyone gathered here for today's event. We have with us our Chief Investment Officer, Mr. Sunil Damania. Drop your questions in the Q&A box just below the video on any concerns you may have on stock sectors and market caps and our panelists will answer them. Over to you, Mr. Sunil. Hey, thanks a lot, Jason, and very warm welcome all of you. I think the market continues to taste our patience. It's still in the grinding mode. Thoda pain to dikhda hai sabke chehre pe. And I think that's the beauty about the market, you know. It will frustrate you, it will make you a little nervous, it will test our patience and then suddenly one fine day it would have formed a bottom and one would know the bottom has been formed only after it has been formed. So that's the beauty about the market, you know. I have seen in my career this boom and bust many times. Uh, and today I was discussing with someone and I was asking why your portfolio, why are you not little concerned? He said, Sunil, I have seen this kind of a market many times in my career. It's all temporary here. As long as you are confident on India, as long as you are confident on Indian economy, growth story, we will make money. Uh, you know, so I think that's the that gives a lot of sense about the maturity that uh, uh, investors are showing in this market, but despite is testing our patience, is grinding mode, people are taking on the chain but uh, not giving up. Uh, and I think that's the beauty about uh, the the new wave of investors. The more I interact with the customers, investors, more I see a sea change in their behavior. Previously, the market used to go down and investors would go out of the market. And the new lot of investors we have come in, they are so matured in their behavior and their thought process that they are not getting perturbed by the market. But eventually we will make money. And I think that maturity basically is going to create India or Indian equity market to the new highs. Uh, they understand it's a non-linear. They understand that profit and loss is a part of the market cycle. But if you remain thick and thin, eventually we will all make money. And that's what that message I'm getting when I speak to more and more retail investors. I'm not talking about h and I'm talking about retail investors. And if the retail investors show that kind of a maturity, it's very heartening because in my life, I have dealt with retail investors and they always are eager to put more money at the top of the market and they are eager to take out the money at the bottom of the market. And this time I seeing a drastic sea change. A lot of credit should go to the sound behavior of our investors. Why? Because they've learned or they would have listened to the social media videos or, 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 or maybe read somewhere and they are behaving in a more sensible manner. Of course, there are few customers will always be there, few investors will always be there, but they are not in the majority. Even when I look at the question that being asked in our webinar, I think the quality of questions that are being asked are more matured, no sign of a panic, and they are committed to the equity with three to five years. In fact, you know, I come across a very interesting case uh, uh, today morning. In fact, uh, one of our Moji Infinity customer came down to our office. And he has a very interesting insights about uh, what happened to his uh, uh, real estate investment. He said, I invested in one project, very renowned builder. Okay, I'm like, I must tell you, so look, it's a Tata Group uh, 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 development somewhere in Kalyan. That's uh, those who are little uh, not well versed with the Bombay. It's on the central side of the Bombay. Uh, it is a place called Kalyan, which is near about uh, maybe 50 kilometers away from where I am right now. Uh, and he, this gentleman bought in 1617 the real estate that flat that he bought for 65 lakhs or something. And today if he decides to get out it, is it 50 lakhs? And, and 
and the way he was telling, uh, suggesting me, of course, he did not say in a very, uh, in so many words, but I, what I could say is that that kind of thing will never happen in equity market if you are sensible. Why? Because he invested a good builder. Uh, uh, Kalyan is promising uh, as a new hub because Dombi Valley is developing very fast and many builders have. And yet this gentleman did not make money. If I forget about making money, uh, remaining invested for seven years and still losing money about 20% or so on the capital. Uh, am I right? And real estate do have a cost. Why? Because you have maintenance cost, uh, society maintenance charges and so on and so forth. And you need to pay for that. And yet, and even when he sells, he may have to pay 2% as a brokerage, uh, which is not the case in the equity market. So. The point I wish to say is that this kind of a maturity is coming and this kind of a, uh, that people do realize that equity, if you remain committed, paisa jarur banega, which may not be the case with all other assets class. Provided you are taking a portfolio approach and you are controlling your human emotions and the discipline. So before I begin, just a small disclaimer, this webinar is only for an education purpose. Whenever you invest in the equity market, it does carry a little higher amount of risk and past performance is no indicator for a future returns. If you look at it, this, sorry, I mean, this is a mistake. It's not 1st December from, from January 2023. So it's a 31st December, I should put it. Uh, uh, so let me put it right now only. Uh, is it, am I able to change it? Yes, I can change it. So let me put it 31st December. Uh, uh, okay, let's. So if you look at this uh, uh, data, uh, from 31st December, is it visible? Okay, I can't see that so on the screen. Okay, so if you look at it, uh, can we just make it live, please? Yeah. yeah. So if you look at it, only FMCG is in green uh, in 2023, uh, and maybe the CPAC index, and that's purely because of some defense companies and so on and so forth. But everywhere. There is a market in red, uh, you know, and there was a one consensus view, which everyone was saying, if you go back and see that bank Nifty will do extremely well. Unfortunately, bank Nifty has underperformed very significantly to the even Nifty 50, 6.4% versus bank Nifty 8%. If you remember, I, time and again, I've been saying that when there is a general feeling that this sector will do well or this company will do well, probability is very high that company will under, probability. There's nothing called short shot in the market, am I right? Probability is very high that company or sector will underperform. Why? Because all good things are already priced in. Same way, when a lot of negative news keeps coming in for that sector, we need to understand that all negative they are already then the price in. The reason I'm saying so, the biggest casualty of the banking sector in Europe and the US is Indian IT service. Why? Because there is a fear that BFSI segment which contributes substantial portion for the Indian IT service sector, the revenue can come under pressure. And if that happens, it's going to hamper the future earnings growth. The question that we need to ask, is it there in the price or not? If it is there in the price, the probability of that company or sector underperforming is very, very less. And that's why I have kept on saying, in fact, Jason, you to remind me that I promised one that out of exit from the market, I need to do that webinar in one of this and I need to do that. So one of my formula of exiting from a sector or from the, from the, uh, to lock in the profit is that get out of the sector or the company when everything is going right, not when everything is going wrong. Why when everything is going right, all good things are priced in. And when and the human nature is that, which we call irrational 
एग्जिबिडेंस हर एक आदमी ये सोचता है कि जो कंपनी ने सौ टका रिटर्न बनाया है आगे जाके दो सौ टका रिटर्न बनाएगी एनालिस्ट विल थिंक दैट द कंपनी इज ग्रो ऑन एट थर्टीन परसेंट और थ्री थर्टी परसेंट इट विल ग्रो एट सिक्सटी परसेंट काइंड ऑफ स्टफ एंड वेरी क्लासिकल एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दैट हैज बिन द केमिकल सेक्टर इफ यू डेव आस्क ऑलमोस्ट एवरी एनालिस्ट लास्ट ईयर सेम टाइम केमिकल वॉज द टॉपिक किसको भी पूछ दो ये है वो है इतना स्टोरी है वॉट नॉट चाइना प्लस वन स्ट्रेटेजी सो एंड सो फॉर्थ एंड टूडे इज वी स्पीक वॉट हैपन टू दैट दैट टाइम ऑल गुड थिंग प्राइज इन सो आई थिंक दिस इज वन लर्निंग दैट वी नीड टू सी द मार्केट ऑलवेज इज मार्केट इज अ वेरी गुड टीचर आई मस्ट टेल यू दैट बट इफ यू डोंट लर्न फ्रॉम द गुड टीचर किसका नुकसान है हमारा नुकसान है so i want everyone to learn from what happen reflect upon that and improve your investment strategy so i think when go- going gets good it's a time to relook at whether this strategy will continue to outperform going forward or not and that's what exactly a uh, bank we have seen where everyone was a consensus view was in the beginning of 2023 whether that bank will do well unfortunately not done well look at the psu bank 17.4% down and that was another general consensus view that npa levels are going to come down days and that and and the life is uh, clear cut what what it says actually so what has outperformed fmcg 2% up it has outperformed minus 3 point despite so much challenges uh, in the it sector as we speak it has done reasonably well and pharma which was while well, nifty 50 is down by 6.4% pharma index is down by only 5 points so it's relatively outperform which is normal doesn't happen now let's look at the fi and i know some of the people i was in one of the social media group and someone said hey fi have turned positive i think we need to also understand that fi has just they have turned positive in the month of march but this number that of 5151451545 5154 that we see is purely because of one investment in gkg uh, uh, by adani uh, gkg investing in adani group companies and if i remove that 15000 crore they have sold near about 10000 crore in the indian equity market now someone would argue why do you need to remove that so it's a fair question why should you remove because in previous year there will be some one block deal that could have happened and that could have pulled down the fi investment the fact of that it's not broad based fi buying the point i wish to convey is that it's not a broad based fi buying that has taken place which can give us a comfort level that fi will stop selling in the market on the contrary the selling is increased in the month of march as compared to the fi buy because they sold only 5000 negative 5000 crore only net net sold yield seems to be more than 10000 crore if i remove 15000 crore investment done by gkg group in the adani group company am i right so so that gives an idea about how and sometimes the problem happens in some other country india is suffering because of that am i right uh, and that's what has happened and of course fed rate hiking also makes investors to move towards the safer assets now the debate is that what should we expect on 6th april from the rbi if you remember i had predicted that fed is going to do 25 bps rate hike and at the time if you remember my first march 2023 equity outlook i had said that despite overall market is expecting 50 bps rate hike i expect only 25 bps rate hike i do expect rbi on 6th april to do 25 bps rate hike i'll explain you why do i believe so i may not be the i may be an uh, exception because uh, many people do expect rbi to pose rate hike in fact many industrialists have given request to the rbi that please stop doing hiking rate of interest yesterday there was an article 
in 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 indian express bombay edition i'm talking about that uh, the many people those who have taken housing loan their tenure has gone beyond their retirement age and then the question comes how are they going to service those uh, if they are not working where would they get that money to pay the emi but despite that i do expect i'll be able to do 25 bits right because there are a couple of reasons for that number one still there is a little less clarity about the inflation and this unseasonal rain that has come in is going to impact the inflation number 2 the global situation is little uncertain and whenever uncertainty happens bank or the, or the central bank prefer to play little safe they don't want to err on the uh, losing too early or kind of a stuff so they might prefer to go ahead because ecb did 50 bps rate hike uh, 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 what we call fed did 25 bps rate hike and even to protect rupee i think they would like to do that 25 bps rate hike so my sense is that we should expect 25 bps rate hike don't expect i'll be able to take a pause so i think i'm little outlier in that kind of a tough stuff but that's what in fact this is not i'm saying right now even if you go back to my first march 2023 commentary i did say the same thing both fed and rbi will do 25 bps rate hike and i continue to believe that and that time there was no unseasonal rain but i do believe that uh, the way i'm looking at the things does gives an indication that R- the inflation could remain little sticky then what rbi must have thought about so that's the one reason now this unseasonal rain has also created more problem uh, if you remember in the month of march because of heat wave everyone moved towards company that producing refrigerator air conditioner fan and so on and so forth and all this seasonal rain has basically brought down the temperature drastically and that impacted demand for ac fans and so on same way yesterday because of covid fear the diagnostic company moved up today one of the diagnostic company down by 10% what i wish to tell you everyone is that today in this market the theme is not able to last for a longer period of time why because there are so many things which are beyond our control who could have thought svb crisis is going to happen and and the effect of svb is not the banking sector but it sector who could have thought that india would receive an unseasonal rain in the march and that could bring down the temperature the demand for refrigerator ac and uh, 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 fan will come down so there are so many events are happening which no one is in handle on and in hands if you are trying to play certain theme we need to be very very careful in terms of what the theme that you wants to play and you must understand what are the variables are there that we need to be cognizant of while playing that theme so that's another really or uh, one should keep in mind so and always play theme which is more sustainable than the theme which is more look look like a one week or 10 days kind of a theme uh, you know so that's what my advice would be last slide before i open the floor for the question answer is that please do not post question that already been answered because it will make other customers bored am i right so i don't want you to bore others uh, because they will they know the answer then why would they listen to it please don't post the question again and again our moderator jason will pick up your question and last but not the least markets mojo has a view on each and every company buy hold and sell very clearly defined the very fact that you are asking me a question i assume and presume that you want my personal opinion which sometimes may vary from the markets mojo opinion and in that case please go with the markets mojo opinion because market mojo is a unbiased advice 
I am a human being and I will always have my bias. With this, let's open floor, open the floor for question answer. Okay, I'll start off with this first question. This one, Mr. M. Khare. Why is Hero Motor Corp going down by 20% in the last 20 days? Is there any adverse news? What's the future? Also, is there any chance for a comeback? Uh, my personal opinion, sir, I think, see, what has happened, sir, the bikes are consumed more in the rural India. And we all know that there is a fear of... Uh, so, if you look at the motorcycle sale has never took off the way it should take off. We are still much, much below the pre-COVID level. Number one. Number two, for some reason, if the, there is an ulnar effect, it could further dampen the demand for the bikes. And that's one reason. Second thing, I think another reason why is that uh, the electrical vehicle is going to take into the market sale. And somewhere, market is not convinced about they launch, I think, Veda or something is a brand. The market is not very sure about how Hero Motor Corp is going to, uh, uh, you know, be successful in the electrical vehicles. So I think there are a couple of reasons why uh, Hero Motor is... Sir, what do you think about 20 days? If I show you graph, I think it has been underperformed many years, if I can... Okay, let me just uh, put the Hero Motor Corp and let me take show you. So, sir, um, sometimes our memory is only, uh, I'll tell you, and of course, I was thinking that this company should do very well, and it is not. In fact, it's one of the best wealth creating story. So, can you see my screen, sir? Uh, and if you look at, or oh, not visible, okay. So, okay, anyway, uh, I don't know uh, what I need to do. Uh, so, anyway, five years is down by 36% versus the, the Sensex up by 74%. In 10 years, Hero Motor Cup is only up by 46% versus overall market up by 206%. It has underperformed for one year, two years, three years, four years, five years, and ten years. Remember, Hero Motor Cup was a part of Ramdev Agarwalji's wealth creation study. So, I think this company has more structural issues to fight it. So, my sense is that it can continue to underperform till they are able to come out with a very strategy uh, uh, more so in the electrical vehicle and the product gets by the acceptance. Till such time, I think this company can struggle. So please stay away. Okay, I'll move on to this next question. Uh, this is by Sanal. What's your opinion on Symphony and uh, what rate should be quoted on the buyback tender? I think uh, you don't have to quote am I right? It's a you, they've given the price if my memory serves me right, which was almost double the price of uh, 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 the market price. So you don't have to just submit the sales at the the buyback price, uh, and you should give it away. That's what you should do. That actually, and Symphony should do uh, well if there is a heat wave. So remember, even though there's an unseasonal rain, what sense I'm getting that we will have heat waves in India, and if that's going to be the case demand for air cooler will go up and that should benefit Symphony. Also, they have a substantial portion of revenue coming from the outside India also and they should get benefit. So, sir, I think please give in the buyback. And you don't have to quote, I think it's already been decided by the company. I think kuch, mera memory sa, bhai so kaisa kuch tha uska, if my memory sa, be right. Okay, this next question by Prasad. For the past one week, uh, investable fund in the Infinity Power portfolio, I keep getting the message because of liquidity issue, we are not able to suggest stocks. Please try again after some time. So, Prasad ji, um, you are right. In a very small portion of our portfolio, and we are not able to allocate for the very simple reason, based on our IP, uh, there are not enough stocks available to invest. And also, in our, so we may have a stock, but it may not fit into our market cap criteria of a soul and power. Am I right? So hence we are not able to generate. So that means that doesn't mean that we are taking a cash call on the market. In a way, it's a cash call, but based driven by the IP, not driven by our view on the market. So as and when the liquidity improves, I think today the liquidity has improved. That means yesterday the liquidity improved, and you could get some stock. But uh, as and when the new stocks comes in, uh, we will be able to suggest you. This purely based on IP. Uh, we are not gonna getting stock which we can fully deploy. The cash available we can fully deploy. So that's the reason, sir, you are getting that message. So it's nothing that 
मे बी एज एन वेन वी आर एबल टू जनरेट एडवाइस विल सेंड यू एन ई मेल एंड यू कैन एक्जीक्यूट दैट क्राइट ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन बाय सैम पुटांकर इन ये सेशन यू हैव मैंशन अबाउट द गुड प्रोस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ डिफेंस सेक्टर इन द करेंट सिचुएशन आई एम होल्डिंग नेलको एंड इट इज डाउन सिग्निफिकेंटली शुड आई एड मूव एट दिस स्टेज सो सर नेलको इज अ वेरी गुड कंपनी टाटा ग्रुप कंपनी हैज अ वेरी रोबस प्रोडक्ट एंड दे शुड डेफिनेटली डू वेल एंड ऑफकोर्स आई डू बिलीव दैट डिफेंस एज ए सेक्टर शुड डू वेल बिकॉज of government of india commitment to the defense make it as an export hub and so on and so forth yes it makes sense you know uh, if you already bought it uh, uh, and it down significantly not a bad idea uh, you see again a very simple philosophy the reason why you bought it that reason continues to remain good or not if the answer is yes please go ahead and buy and for me the answer remains the same yes okay Uh, moving to this next word like question this is by mr shrinivas many mid and small cap stocks are falling sharply should we st- uh, switch to large caps instead to sir you are right you know it's a human tendency to go with the recency bias what we believe is that what work in the past will work in the future also zaruri nahi hai na sir you know uh, so right now our ip does make us believe that mid and small cap should outperform i must tell you that uh, but having said that we need to be little choosy in terms of within the mid and small cap but just because they have underperform we should switch to large cap i don't think it's a great strategy otherwise what will happen we'll keep jumping from one to another and you will never make money you know there is one social media pe ek video chal raha tha abhi bhi chal raha hai so i think you may also received it that there are two gentlemen doing fishing on two different pond and one guy uh, basically doing a fishing in the one pond and he's getting fished immediately so what it happens is that the fish was supposed to come on the closer date and this guy basically remove and go to the place where this guy got a fish and wo pond khali ho gaya tha fish se and he missed out on that the big fish that he was about to get it why because he thought that this pond will get more fish for me and which was empty anyway so i think this something very similar can happen to the and if you switch to the large cap is what happens if mid and small cap start moving up then we'll say hey yaar kya galti kar liya you know so i think uh, remain committed and mid and small cap is also function of your risk appetite so for some reason you don't have a risk appetite then i agree with you please move to large cap but your risk appetite is a little large bit little little bigger it doesn't make sense to basically move out just because in last one year or two years the median small cap are not done well i think that's not the right way okay moving on to this next particular question this is by rajiv hello sunil bhai kirit pari committee recommendation on gas pricing are getting effective from 1st april could you assess its impact on gas stocks like mgl igl etc to i you are right sir that they put a upper limit in terms of the price see remember igl mgl you know they are all Uh, uh uh what we call utility stocks they don't normally command a very rich premium uh why it's a very simple pure vanilla business is more like a my worry with with this company like mgl and igl is that more competition can come in uh, they are getting the licenses are getting uh, they have exclusive license in certain cities and i think uh, once that it's open is up uh, it could be a more competition coming in and if that happens what happens to this companies you know kind of a stuff what happens uh, they do get a lot of revenues from the the cng also and what happens to the electrical vehicle they come how quickly they can move to the electrical waste uh, this one so i think one is that credit party credit party uh, committee report but i think more fundamental question that we need to ask is that what is the moat that they enjoy to sustain the business mujhe nahi lagta ki itna kuch zyada usse i think the question is that how are they going to basically make themselves future ready and i think that's a one big question that they need to ask my sense is that i'm getting is that if the competition comes in ideally if you ask me very frankly government should nudge some of the psu company who are holding stake in mgl igl to sell the stake let the private players comes in and run it more efficiently uh, am i right because they can do then they can do much different different manner the same business so 
Okay, so coming back to a basic core question, what could be the impact on credit party committee? I don't see any adverse effect, nor do I see any uh, positive impact. I think the life will move on uh, the way it is moving on. So there's no major impact on them. Okay, uh, this next question by Mr. Shanoi. Uh, your opinion on HDFC Limited and HDFC Bank have held these stocks for some time now. So, Shanoi, sir, this is my personal opinion. See, I do believe that both HDFC and HDFC Bank uh, can underperform very significantly. Uh, you know, I'll give you a very, I think, uh, one of the India's leading brokers had visited our old office uh, before pre COVID. And I myself was holding in HDFC Limited, uh, uh, you know, stake. And then, you know, when I look at the data, I did realize that this company can underperform very significantly. Uh, why? Because of the business model and competition increasing and, and the way things are happening in the complete FF, uh, uh, NBFC space could create problem because more and more banks are getting uh, 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 as a mortgage, as a, as a way to uh, this one. And if my memory no, is not wrong, I think it was Jan 2019 or so uh, at that point of time. So when I look at HDFC, if you look at HDFC, uh, in two years underperform only 5.89% return. Three years, it's 75%, but Sensex up by 93. Four years, 37% underperform. Five years, 67% underperform. But on 10 years period, it's outperform, 406%. My sense is that it should underperform HDFC. Now, of course, it will get merged with HDFC Bank. And HDFC Bank, I think HDFC Bank, one big challenge, and I'm also a customer of HDFC Bank, I must tell you that. I think some way they're really not able to come out with the solution on the digital side. I think some of the other banks are doing fantastically good job within the private sector. I think HDFC Bank has to do a lot of catch up there. And my fear, in my sense, my personal opinion is that the cultural difference between HDFC and HDFC bank employees, the IT system that HDFC and HDFC bank uh, uh, deploy, and integration of that, I think there are going to be challenges there. So my sense is that both HDFC bank and HDFC can underperform in the months to come. So if I would be in your place, I would prefer to stay away. Okay, moving to this next question. Uh, this is by uh, Mr. Jagar. Uh, good evening, Sunil sir. Could you let us know about the FI DI movement in the month of March? Sir, Jigal ji, I just said na, that what happened to the uh, 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 FI investment. Uh, they are net invested in the month of uh, March, but purely because of Adani, where GQG uh, invested near about 15,000 crores. The moment you remove that Adani Group investment, then I think overall we have sold about 10,000 crores. I think they have been positive. I don't have the data off the cuff, but I think they are positive in this. So net net institutional investors are positive. Uh, if if you adjust for GQG, so more amount has been invested by domestic institutional investors as compared to the FIS net sell. Okay, Frank has asked this question. Uh, uh, hello, Sunil sir. Excellent guidance as always. Appreciate your efforts. The US is going through a textbook financial crisis according to billionaire Leon Cooperman. Uh, that means poor returns for stocks worldwide. Cooperman has warned market of a coming recession and said stocks could plunge 20% this year. What's your take on this? So, sir, I have not uh, looked at that opinion of uh, Leon Cooperman, so I would not be able to comment in which context he has said. Can US market plunge by 20%? I would be surprised in case if that happens. Can Indian market go down by 20%? Again, no. I continue to hold uh, that if at all Nifty has to go down, it could be near about 16,400 level or so, nothing beyond that. In other words, risk reward ratio is very good. And I continue to believe that 2023, Indian equity market will offer you returns in tens. So whether so twenty percent in U.S. market probability is very very low. U.S. Indian market extremely low, and we should expect positive returns on Indian equity market. Okay, uh, moving to this question by Sham. Uh, hello, so good evening. Spice Jet share prices have gone very low. What's the view on this airlines and will it bounce back? 
any idea would be helpful so sir i am again giving you my personal opinion so you know I, a friend of mine uh, had a, a spice jet in his portfolio and and wo kuch 100 rupya bhi kuch gaya tha i am talking about 5 6 saal ho gaya hoga uska bhi abhi mujhe yaad nahi hai and he was extremely bullish and he had a reason to be bullish uh, and normally i have a have very bad habit of uh, not arguing why because ultimately the price will reflect who was right and who was not right am i right see i think this complete aviation space has been a really well disruptor the first listed aviation stock was damani airways delisted your value if you had invested value has become zero east west airlines second company to tap public zero npc airlines zero we have modi lift zero we had uh, 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 apna iska go air not go air ka apna kaun sa tha uska gopinathan ka uh, uh, i'm forgetting the name also now i see that's what happens to the memory am i right the come the first guy to start with the the budget airlines yaad nahi aa raha anyway uh, Jason, can you remember what that Gopinath launch a uh, airlines, uh, which was uh, the first budget airlines? Huh? Okay, uh, okay, uh, and that will come. That so, uh, that can create yes, uh, you know that can uh, airlines. So that's also the. So my sense is that uh, this sector has will always been a well destructor. Why? high atf cost competition is high you sell at the losses skin crisis is another classical example listed entity value becomes zero jet airways was a listed entity you will all know what happened to jet airways okay uh, spice jet something similar so indigo is one which has been so my sense is that uh, tata group coming in is going to make the life really difficult for the other players till now air india was gone by the managed by the government and hence efficiency level was not as good as what would have expected with tata doing a right thing vistara air india getting merged air asia and in air india express getting merged i think it's going to be a very formidable challenge to the some of the incumbent players including indigo and that's going to really create pressure for smaller players like spice jet so i think it's it's going to underperform very significantly and if you look at spice jet you know always it has a spot i don't know some vested interest will come coming out with a story company will turn around so and so forth and when the company doesn't turn around and then we all know what happens to the price am i right a same company quoting at 100 rupees or so in december 2020 uh, is down by 30% down to 30 rupees 70% and this is a time when the indian aviation sector is doing extremely well because post if you remember the flights are full the airports are chock a block and yet this company just forget about this one you know even if you look at the return this company generated even in 2023 when the complete aviation industry is having best of the best time number of people traveling are are, are unprecedented wo revenge travel bolte na wo tha 22% down even if you look at one year 47% down i think this price is telling you something loud and clear ki jab sector itna acha kar raha hai phir bhi company achhi nahi kar raha to there is a come come market doesn't have that comfort level am i right something is uh, not in sync please stay away my advice would be please stay away okay moving to this next question uh, this is by mr bra referring to your comments on sectoral churn due with sectors being priced in which sectors are likely to do well from today where we should invest at present bral sir uh, i didn't mention in my opening remarks if you go back to our equity outlook 2023 we articulated very clearly three sectors and i will repeat for the benefit for you and everyone else we do believe that it can outperform we do believe that pharma can outperform 
वी डू बिलीव दैट इंफ्रा एंड कैपिटल गुड्स कैन आउट परफॉर्म दैट्स अवर सेंस एज वी स्पीक एंड आई थिंक वी आर ऑलमोस्ट ऑन द द वन क्वार्टर विल गेट ओवर ऑफ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड आई थिंक समवेर इफ यू लुक एट इट दिस थ्री सेक्टर सिम्स टू डूइंग रिजनेबली वेल आई एम नॉट सिंग दे आर डूइंग एक्सट्रीमली वेल पर आई थिंक दे आर डूइंग रिजनेबली वेल इन टर्म्स ऑफ सोइंग सम साइन ऑफ ए आउट परफॉर्मेंस एज कम्पेयर टू द ओवरऑल मार्केट ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन बाय रोहन दिस फास्ट चर्निंग ऑफ मोजो स्टॉक्स नाउ डेज हाउ डू वी टेक इन्वेस्टमेंट डिसीजन अंडर सच कंडीशन रोहन जी आई डोंट थिंक दर इज यूज टू बी फास्ट चर्न आई एग्री विथ यू नॉट 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 ऑफ लेट सो वी डोंट सी मेनी मोजो स्टॉक्स कमिंग इन एंड गोइंग आउट इट यूज टू हैपन आई एग्री विथ यू बट हैविंग सेट दैट एज्यूम दर इज अ फास्ट चर्न वॉट यू आर सींग The, when the company ceases to be a mojo stock, it doesn't mean that you have to exit from that company. It just become a hold. If you already bought that mojo stock, please continue to hold. And I'll give you another simple formula: when to exit if you are not holding that company in model portfolio. When the score goes below sixty, and the price trend is negative, that time you should exit. If the score is above sixty, then you should continue to hold. And if the score is uh, even below sixty, but the price trend is upward. Then don't exit till the score becomes less than fifty. Okay, uh, Mr. Agarwal has asked this question. Please let us know your personal opinion on JT KT. So my sense is that uh, the com- the company is a very good company. Uh, it's a Japanese uh, promoted. Uh, 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 so MNCs, as I was saying in our Mojo stock, more and more MNCs are becoming Mojo stock. So my sense is that. this company has a good future the product pipeline is good uh, auto ancillary as a theme i think it should play out well to jt etkt i personally believe it should do uh, uh, reasonably well so if you already bought it you can continue to uh, 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 hold F- should you do fresh buy my answer would be no okay this question by ankur Definitely, you may be right. The Nifty won't go down by twenty percent, but it seems now small and mid cap might go down by twenty percent. Sir, लगने जाए के twenty percent down जाएगा. On the contrary, what we have observed some time back is that mid and small cap has been outperforming the large cap, and the uh, you know. So unfortunately, I am not able to share my screen because something has happened with my connection, and that's the thing. But if you look at it, one month also, uh, uh, or maybe YT, if you look at it. Uh, while the nifty is down by 6 and 1/2 percent mid cap is down by 7.38 so it's it's in not too much a difference and and, and small cap is down by 9.57 percent so somewhere i am getting a sense that it's not that uh, uh, in fact you'll be surprised to know that nifty 15 last one year is down by 1.57 percent but mid cap is down by only 1.05 percent that means it outperform of course the small cap in last one year is down by 5.4 percent सो लग नहीं जाए सर कि ना निफ्टी बीस टका जाएगा या मीडियम स्मॉल कैप बीस टका जाएगा आई मस्ट टेल यू सर अंकुल जी दैट आई हैव गॉन ऑन द रिकॉर्ड इन माय फर्स्ट जनवरी 2023 प्रेजेंटेशन आई डू एक्सपेक्ट मीड एंड स्मॉल कैप टू आउट परफॉर्म सिग्निफिकेंटली टू द लार्ज कैप इन 2023 एंड इफ यू रिमेंबर वेल मोहित एन आई वेद इन वन ऑफ द वेबिनार्स आई डिड मैंशन दैट यू नो The soul should outperform the power for the very simple reason. I do see it. I'm getting a sense that small cap should outperform significantly as compared to uh, large cap. So small cap should outperform mid cap, and mid cap should outperform uh, large cap in 2023. So, sir, I don't subscribe to your view that uh, small and mid cap can go down by 20 percent. I don't think so. This question by Vinith. My model portfolio created in October 2021 shows realized return of minus 70,000. I created another one for my mother on June 2022, but it shows a realized return of minus 20. Sometimes I wonder if I subscribe to make losses. No, <laughs> sir. Uh, you know, you need to ask yourself. Uh, I'll give you a very classical example. This is my previous organization. I have mentioned this uh, uh, incident couple of times. In my previous organization, we had a past service, portfolio advisory services, 
and a lady came to our office and and, uh, and that office was in uh, pune because I, i used to go to pune because we had our office in pune also and this lady was customer from pune and in pune there is a habit bad habit of uh, uh, they cut off the power on one particular day and happened to be that day and she had to climb a four floor and she was really furious uh, that after one year also uh, we are not making money for her to so, and my other team members also met with her but she was not satisfied and ultimately i had to meet her one crore ka kuch portfolio tha and she came and she said why should i pay fees my paisa nahi ban raha so i told her very clearly that's not the right way to look at it that two way you you had come with a portfolio to us we advise you on your portfolio the portfolio value was 1 crore and you took our advice the portfolio value is only 99 lakhs so yes you made loss money but had you not come to us come to us that 1 crore portfolio would have gone down to 85 lakhs so by coming to us did you make money or did you lose money i made money tumara then where is the problem same way vinit ji i agree with you sir aapka loss hua hai october 2021 se 70000 ka aur aap khud apne hisab se invest karte who knows your losses would have been more than 70000 which is october 2021 and june 2020 ka jo 20000 hai sir zyada hota see remember we should always look at the returns in context of the overall market it has been a challenging year sir not only for us everyone it has been challenging 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 to so, hua hai you don't come to the nc that's why i said in, in equity market you should never come with the one year perspective you should come with a th- minimum 3 to 5 years perspective and if you come with 3 to 5 years perspective uh, then this doesn't matter uh, you know it's you don't have to basically assume ke agar अठारह महीने में 67,000 लॉस हुआ है 670,000 लॉस हुआ है तो नेक्स्ट अठारह महीने में 70,000 लॉस ही होगा दैट डजन हैपन इट्स अ नॉन लिनियर रिटर्न सो वी आज विक्टिम्स ऑल रिसेंटली बायस तो सर यू हैव पेड टू क्रिएट अल्फा एंड वी आर वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट इफ यू रिमेन कमिटेड टू अवर स्ट्रेटेजी इन अ डिसिप्लिन मैनर यू विल क्रिएट अल्फा एंड यू हैव पेड मनी टू जनरेट अल्फा and you will get alpha sir okay this next question this is by ramnathan i'm trying to understand the ipy wpi was not identified as a mojo stock when everything looks exceptional fundamental and technical point of view okay so let me see why wpi has not been identified as a, uh, a mojo stock so yeah it's a uh, the score is of a 90 uh, as we speak is a small cap company uh it can become a mojo stock as yes, i agree with you is down by 11% in last one week uh, uh and vitid is already up by 86% so it should satisfy our ip uh, to become a mojo stock till now it has not come to our investment committee uh to become a mojo stock so we all remember markets mojo is dealing the infinity portfolio and infinity score and the markets mojo score so don't get confused with this too okay as far as mojo stock is concerned it is not come in our ip because it doesn't satisfy certain conditions and hence it's not become a mojo stock okay this question by jemroy read the news that tube investment is diversifying to chemicals is it true and if yes what's your views yes sir it is true uh, it has they officially announced that they are going in for that so there is nothing uh, 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 this one and they also announced that they are going to fund this through their internal accruals so it's very much true sir please continue to hold tube investment okay uh, i can see a lot of investor actually asking your overall opinion on the it sector currently so my sense is that okay it sector i did uh, 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 explain in beginning of my webinar but nonetheless i'll just repeat for the benefit of everyone see what are the factors so there are headwinds and there are tailwinds for the it sector first let me explain you the headwinds because that's what everyone is concerned about the one biggest headwind is that bfsi 
post SVB signature bank and the credit issue is the complete picture on the BFA segment has become little hazy, cloudy. And this could impact the, the top line growth and the margin growth for IT company. This is the one major headwinds. But there are tailwinds. What are the tailwinds? When people have question mark on the corporate governance, Indian IT service companies have the topmost corporate governance standard, number one. Number two, when the rate of interest goes up, investors prefer to invest in a company where there are no borrowings. And Indian IT service company satisfy that condition. So they logically more money should go there. Number three, they have a very big cash and bank balance. In other words, their treasury income will go up when the rate of interest goes up. Number four, one of the biggest challenge that tell me this, uh, 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 this sector will have rate of attrition that has started coming down. The number of employees cost as a person of total revenue was going up. That will start coming down. So against one headwinds, there are three or four tailwinds that should come in play. And that's one of the reasons we believe that IT as a sector should outperform the broader market, which it did in 2023. And that our view has been similar from day one of 2023, that IT should outperform. In fact, not to, to January, we changed our opinion somewhere in mid-October 2022, saying that IT sector should outperform from year on. We were not so bullish and we changed our opinion. So this is my, of course, we can go wrong. Our assessment can go wrong because market has its own wisdom. But our sense is that IT should outperform. Okay, uh, this, uh, speaking of the IT sector, actually Prashant has asked this question. Uh, can I hold LTI mind tree or sell it? Please hold LTI mind tree. There is no need to get, get, out, get out of LTI mind tree. Okay, this question by Kumar. What's your opinion on ICICI Bank? Uh, currently, the Mojo score is at 54 and it's present in my portfolio. So, it's a hold right now. Uh, so, continue to hold ICICI Bank, sir, as we speak. Uh, uh, please continue to hold. Uh, 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 that's the thing. So, you know, it's another classical example. Uh, if you would have asked everyone in 2023, which is the stock to buy in the banking space? And 9 out of 10 would have said ICICI Bank. The fact is that today's down by YTD is down by 4% or so. You know, I was saying something in the beginning of the webinar that uh, when all good things are priced in, then you need to really ask question, what is left for me to make money? What is left on the table for me to take away from that company? And something similar happens. So, if there is a general consensus view on one particular sector, one particular company, you should be very, very careful. Right now, ICICI Bank is hold. So, if you, since you already owned, own it, please continue to hold right now. Okay, this question by Ashok. Uh, Suniji, how is that DIs and net buyers every day in spite of mutual fund holders having started redeeming heavily? No, 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 sir. Who told you that mutual fund investors have started redeeming heavily? The net inflow is still there, sir. So I don't think there is a net outflow is there from the mutual fund industry. So I don't, the, I don't know, sir, where you got this data from, uh, Asobji. Uh, they are continuously getting fresh inflow into the funds. So there is nothing called outflow as such. Uh, and, if, and they don't normally take a cash call. But yes, I've seen that some of the mutual fund have taken a cash call on the market. But that's a different story. But... Uh, uh, they are not a, uh, they are not, there is no redemption as such. They are not net outflow. There could be redemption, but the inflow is much higher than the redemption. So that's been net inflow. There is a positive net inflow. Okay, this question by Meena. Oh, what should I do with Crystal? Can I buy, hold, or sell this stock? So, Crystal, uh, let me see also. I have not, off -light, not looked at this. Uh, but whenever the rate of interest goes up, it does create, say, more <laughs> revenue for company like Crystal. It's a hold in our system, 
my advice would be to hold, uh, not be in a rush to get out at this point of time. Okay, Mr. Sunil, that's it for the Q&A session for today. So thanks a lot to everyone taking time out and attending this webinar. Uh, yes, I do understand market is choppy, is going to remain choppy. Uh, I'm not showing, going to say that market will be good or good or good. I think we need to see uh, more uh, grinding of the market, more volatility in the market. Uh, but I'm very hopeful that in 2023, both Sensex and Nifty will give positive returns in double digit, despite the challenges that we are facing in. With this, uh, I'll head it over to Jason. Thanks a lot, Jason, for hosting, hosting this webinar. Yeah, thanks a lot, Mr. Sunil, and thanks a lot, everyone, for attending today's event. Tomorrow, I'll be doing an event around 7 p.m. I'll be talking about the GARB strategy and how to pick stocks in the current market using screeners. Looking forward to seeing you all come for the event. Goodbye and have a great evening. Thank you so much.